Hi Essex, welcome to our second lesson on our innovation, innovative text. So again, we're innovating the discussion text today and we're looking at paragraph two. So for the do now on your whiteboard, think about what features do we need to include in the second paragraph? What's the point of it? What content do we expect to see? Have a think back to last week's lessons. Have a go on your whiteboard and let's see what you've come up with. The point of the model text that we looked at in leprosy, the second paragraph was to present arguments that support the question. Okay, so let's have a look. Today we're going to write the second paragraph. We're going to discuss the question, should uniform be bound? Will the purpose or content of this paragraph two change? Hopefully you've all said the content will change, the purpose stays the same, the point of this paragraph stays the same, but the content we're going to talk about is called uniform, not leprosy today. So, the point is to give arguments to support the question, and in the model text to do with leprosy, we looked at facts to explain how the disease is spreading, and doctors and scientific advisors advice. Uh, language features, multi-clause sentences, front of adverbials, abstract nouns, technical language, and maybe a dash if we can to join two main clauses. So in the model text, the second paragraph read like this. There are no doubt that infection rates are rising at alarming speed, and if no action is taken, 50% of the population will be infected in the next month. To protect the rest of society, doctors argue that anyone with the disease should be quarantined and sent to the remote island of Gerto without delay. Top scientific advisors agree. They have been studying the alarming data since the start of the pandemic and warn of catastrophic consequences if people continue to mix with one another. They believe this infectious disease can spread rapidly in all age groups and it is imperative communities do everything they can to prevent it from escalating further. So as a class, what I want you to do now, to start with that on your whiteboard, write some reasons why is it important that children wear school uniform? What are the positives of wearing school uniform? Okay, let's see if any of your ideas are the same as mine. I think the reasons for wearing school uniform are children look smart, it represents the school, it's safer to see walking to school and on trips, it shows children belong to the school family, it shows that everyone's the same, if dressed smart you might work better, it's less expensive because you only have to buy one uniform rather than lots of clothes. Um, you don't have to think about what to wear every day so in the morning you just get up get your uniform on. Cut down on the bullying because obviously if you're allowed to wear what you like, some children could be wanting to wear, say, designer clothes or designer trainers. Some of the people might not be able to afford them and therefore um, people could be nasty to one another. And also it is quite comfortable. Let's look at the first sentence of the model text. It says there's no doubt that infection rates are rising at an alarming speed and no action is taken. 50% of the population will be infected in the next month. So we've got to write our first sentence now. How can we relate this to school uniform? You do have a word bank on Seesaw that can help you. Here is my suggestion. Those who are in support um, of keeping uniform believe it is best. So I'm just writing an opening statement. Those who are in support of it think uniform believe it's the best thing to do. I think it is best is a bit too informal. So I think I'm going to say those who are in support of keeping uniform believe it promotes a sense of equality. Everyone's the same. Full stop. Okay? So now I want you to have a go at your writing your first sentence. What's the first point you're going to make about why you think it's important that school uniforms should be worn? Let's look at the second sentence. So I'm just going to recap on my first. Those who are in support of keeping uniform believe it promotes a sense of equality. Why is this important and explain in the next sentence. So now I'm going to explain why people would feel equal. So it means children are not asking for more expensive items. Asking's okay, but I think I could say not competing for, like going against one another. Competing for more expensive items of clothing, just taking the pressure off parents or eliminating, eliminating the pressure off parents and children themselves. Okay, can you have a go at your second sentence? Explain the point you've just made in your first sentence. Remember, proofread and check your spellings and punctuation. 
Now the next sentence, we need to give another reason now. So I said about promoting equality and they're not competing when they're in their own um, clothes. My second point is there is also a sense of pride felt when wearing a uniform as it shows a sense of belonging. So what can I add to this sentence? Belonging to what? How could I change the end? I think I might just change the start. I might say, um, a sense of pride is felt when wearing a uniform as it shows a sense of belonging to both the school and the community. So I've expanded my ideas here. Full stop. And you have a go at your next sentence. What's your second point? Why, why, what's the other reason why uniforms should be worn as a positive? Have a go, remember to proofread and check spellings and punctuation. Now the next couple of sentences, we need to give another reason and to explain the reason again. So, it is also argued that wearing uniform is important to the growth of young people. Uniform or some sort of dress code is something many of us must wear at some point in our lives and is therefore a good lesson um, for life, okay? So, how could I improve it? It is also argued that wearing uniform is important to the growth, important I might level out and say it's essential, vital, critical, think about all these synonyms. A uh, uniform or some sort of dress code, I've missed out a comma here, look, add more information, uniform or some sort of dress code, something many of us must wear at some point in our lives. And is there a good lesson? Not no, a valuable life lesson. Okay, you have a go at your next couple of sentences. Tell me another reason why you should be wearing a uniform and support that. In the next couple of sentences, I want to include some facts and statistics to back up and to support my argument. So let's look at the eye. In a survey, it was found that pupils who wore uniform worked hard. Uniform also keeps children safe and easily seen on school trips. Okay, how could I improve the eye? So in a survey, let's say who this survey was carried out by. So in a survey, carried out by the University of Leeds. Gives me more strength, not just me on the street saying, oh, do you think uniform should be banned or not? The whole university has taken this survey. So in a survey carried out by the University of Leeds, University of Leeds, comma, it was found that pupils who wore uniform worked harder. Worked harder, I could change that to had stronger work ethic. Uniform also keeps children safe and easily seen on school trips. I might up-level this to easily identifiable. So I've given more information here and I've also given some statistics to back up my argument to support it. Have a go at writing your next sentence. Remember to say each sentence aloud before writing. Proofread and check spellings and punctuation. Right, your task today is to write your second paragraph on Seesaw. You'll have your sheet and we look forward to seeing your work. Bye, Essex.